I am only 60 seconds away from a hot breakfast burrito each morning thanks to this griddle meal prep recipe. I kept this as simple as possible by getting pre-diced onions and peppers, but if you're going to cut them yourself, you just need a medium onion, medium red and green pepper. Then I add about 5 ounces of Baby Bella mushrooms, which I washed and diced up. The package is 8 ounces, but I already used some for a patty melt. That's how I got to 5. 8 eggs with a splash of milk added to them, and then scramble them up real well. 2 cups of frozen shredded hash browns, which in my opinion, every good griddle owner should have laying around in their freezer at all times. I like to get my griddle around 400 degrees, which is usually medium for about 10 minutes on preheating for my camp chef. Then I'll put my sausage down and flatten it out. I really smash it down into the griddle like it owes me money. You know, I want to create a lot of contact with the surface of the griddle so it gets a nice crust which creates flavor. After about seven minutes, I flip it over and that's what we're looking for. Now I go ahead and throw down my onions and peppers. I'll add a little bit of salt to them so that it pulls out the moisture. Spread them out thin so everyone is touching the griddle. Mix together my peppers and onions, then the frozen potatoes go in. Next time I do this, I think I'm going to put the potatoes or hash browns down right at the beginning with the sausage. They didn't get as crispy really as I want and they can handle the heat for that long. So learning lesson here. The sausage is done, so I cut that burner off, all the way off. Diced mushrooms are last because they will cook the quickest. You could also use spinach or add other veggies to your liking. Once everything is cooked, I'm going to mix it all together, everyone in the pool together. Then I'll spread it out, make a little sort of like well or dam sort of situation with the veggies, just kind of a hole in the middle there. And then I'll put a little bit more oil down and pour all of my scrambled eggs right in there. I use this trick for fried rice as well, and it's fantastic for two reasons. First, you've contained your eggs, and you don't have to chase them all around the griddle, or, heaven forbid, you lose some of them in the grease trap. Now they're all just contained right there together. Second, this area of the griddle should be a little lower in temp because you just had all your veggies on there. So, this makes it less likely that you'll burn your eggs. Even though the temp is probably lower though, this is a good time to go ahead and turn your burners all the way down to low or possibly even off. You probably have enough heat on the griddle already to finish up this cook and cook those eggs. I will salt and pepper the eggs and start to pull them into the middle as they cook. My goal here is to wait until they're about 75% done, then add the sausage and pull everything off the griddle. They'll keep cooking once you pull them off the griddle and you're gonna freeze and then reheat this burrito so the eggs will definitely get cooked through eventually. I probably waited too long to pull mine, honestly. They probably got like 100% done, but next time I'll pull them early. Here's the sausage and we'll mix it all together and then bring the sheet pan over, put it on there, take everything inside to cool for 10 minutes. You wanna let it cool before you build the burrito so that there's no condensation in your burritos once you freeze them and then you know that moisture will freeze. So that's why you gotta cool them. These are nine inch tortillas and I will put four at a time in the microwave for about eh, 20 to 30 seconds. This will make it easier to fold up the burritos once the filling is inside. Two to three spoonfuls of filling and a pinch of shredded cheese. I got pepper jack, grab whatever cheese you like. Then a small spoon of salsa and fold and roll. I fold over top, flip the sides in, roll. Now the filling is tricky. If you do a three big scoops, it could get hard to roll. So you just got to find out what you like, especially depending on the size of your spoon. But I'd start smaller because I don't know about you, but whenever I do something like burritos or omelets, I always put way too much in there and then it makes it harder down the road. Now I had 20 tortillas and plenty of cheese, but I ended up with 16 burritos and only a little bit of cheese in each one because my helper turned into a taste tester about halfway through. That's only little bit. I know, I need more of the cheese. I had a lot of filling left over, and depending on how you fill them, I think you could get about 24 burritos out of this recipe, if you really wanted to. But, again, it depends on how much veggies you use and how you stuff them, and uh, maybe you don't want to add mushrooms, so you would have less filling. For freezing, I just use a one-gallon Ziploc bag, and you can get about six burritos in each. I try to push out as much air as I can by folding it down or by sucking it out with a straw from my son's sippy cup, which I'll admit is a little strange, 
put them in the freezer and now I have three bags of breakfast burritos and one pint of Ben and Jerry's I bought for my wife. Does that make me the husband of the year? I don't know. You tell me. This took me about two hours, but I would say if you're not filming yourself and your helper like wraps the burritos rather than just eating all the cheese, I think you can get it done in like an hour and a half or so. Then in the morning, what you do is you pull one out, get a paper towel wet, wrap the burrito in it. I do 30 seconds, flip, then another 30 seconds, and I got myself a nice burrito. Could be a little longer in your microwave. If you want more griddle recipes like this, check out my ebook in the link below.